Welcome back to The Ed Show. In the battleground story tonight, the Clinton versus Obama primary take two. Well, sort of. Former President Bill Clinton has broken with the Democratic establishment, including President Obama, in the Colorado Democratic primary. Clinton is backing Andrew Romanoff over Democratic Senator Michael Bennett. In his endorsement letter, the former president wrote, quote, we need Andrew's leadership in Washington, especially now when so many Americans are losing so much. Joining me now is Andrew Romanoff, Democratic candidate for Senate in Colorado. Thank you so much for being on. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Uh, Mr. Romanoff, I, w- I want to start by asking you, I mean, obviously, the, the, the endorsement is, is a big deal politically, and it, I think it comes out of a, a sort of personal relationship you have w- w- with President Clinton. But what are the reasons that progressives should be looking to you rather than Michael Bennett in terms of substantive policy? Where is the daylight between the two of you? Sure. I think the reason that so many progressives have logged on to AndrewRomanoff.com just in the last 24 hours is because they recognize that the oil industry, the big insurance companies, the big Wall Street banks have enough politicians on their payroll. We need a senator for the rest of us. And I'll give you a quick example. Just a couple weeks ago, the Senate had a chance to remove $35 billion in tax breaks from the oil and gas industry and use the savings to reduce the deficit and invest in energy efficiency and conservation. My opponent voted against that plan and rocketed to the number two spot behind Blanche Lincoln uh, among Senate Democrats on the ballot this year as recipients of oil and gas money. Uh, I would have voted for the proposal to remove the tax breaks because I believe it is critical for us to accelerate our transition to a new, cleaner energy economy. Let me ask you this, and this is a bit out of left field, and and obviously uh, endorsements are not reciprocal, so you don't have to have agreed with President Clinton (laughs) and everything. But but I I was watching the financial regulation in full full today, and and one of the the key bills was the Graham-Leach-Bliley bill, which essentially repealed Glass-Steagall. It happened, it was signed by President Mm -hmm. Clinton. I wonder if you think, looking back, if that bill, that deregulation was a mistake. I believe we should restore the Glass-Steagall wall of separation between commercial and investment banking activity. I also believe we should prevent banks from ever becoming too big to fail. Uh, I should tell you, my opponent in this race voted against a proposal to do exactly that and now serves on the banking committee, has become one of the top ten recipients of Wall Street cash. I'll tell you what, you know, if every progressive listening to this show today logged on to AndrewRomanoff.com, chipped in $15, $20, we could beat the corporate machine we're up against uh, and the special interests that are bankrolling the opposition here. All right, Mr. Romanoff, thank you very much. Kudos for your deft insertion of your URL, and it was a pleasure to have you on tonight. Thanks, Chris. I appreciate it. All right.